Hello, my name is Scott Lipscomb, one of the editors of Psychology of Music and Multimedia, an Oxford University Press uh, co-edited volume for which you have agreed to be an author, a chapter author. We're very pleased to have your participation in this project, and the purpose of this video tutorial is to make that process even easier by showing you how to use styles in Word. Um, if you've never used them before, it's not difficult. If you've used them before, hopefully this will provide some additional information that will be helpful. You were sent two documents by one of the editors for this volume. Uh, the first one was called Using Styles in Word. It appears like this. It provides a set of verbal instructions that I hope will prove helpful for you as you go through this process. Um, you can see that we're, there are graphics involved, and the graphics may look slightly different from what you see on your computer just because it varies from version to ver of Word to version of Word. Um, you'll also see that there's a full list of styles, uh, some of which you may want, want to use, like different heading styles, figure numbers, uh, equations, table numbers, etc. And there are also some one-time uh, formatting options uh, where you'll just replace uh, the content that's currently there and set up um, your own uh, chapter-specific content. Um, I'd like you to notice that when I opened Word, there was a formatting palette that appeared over here on the right-hand side. Um, it may appear somewhere else on your uh, computer, but as long as you see it, um, we'll be using that in just a minute. If you don't see the formatting palette, Never fear, all you need to do is go to the View menu, select Formatting Palette, and there's a check next to it if it's currently visible. Um, if I click on it again, the Formatting Palette disappears, and that check mark disappears and goes away. Uh, I could check on it again to show it, or I could use the one-click option in the toolbox toolbar here, and just click on Toolbox, it opens up, and there's my Formatting Palette again. Um, each of these little panel areas expands and contracts. You simply press uh, your mouse cursor and uh, click the mouse on that heading. It expands. Click again and it contracts. So if you would just open the styles panel, you can see that these are the styles that currently exist in the document we're working with. I can place my cursor anywhere in this content. You don't need to highlight text. You can simply place the cursor within the paragraph and change the formatting by selecting um, a different so I could set this to heading to format and immediately the text of that paragraph changes. Now of course that's not what I wanted so I'll go back and change it back but changing styles is as easy as um, so placing the cursor in the paragraph selecting the style that you want. Now why would I do that instead of um, just simply changing the font to a blue larger um, size font in an Arial style? Well, if I want to reuse that formatting over and over again, uh, somewhere down the road I might decide, well, I don't really want it to be blue. Perhaps it would look better being a different color or a different font or a different size. If I've set up my styles and used them appropriately, I only need to go into the style panel and select modify style, which you don't need to do uh, for this purpose. But I would change the uh, formatting, the font size, the font face, or any other aspects of that here. And immediately after doing that, Everywhere in the document where that particular style was selected, it will be updated uh, to the new appearance. So using styles uh, really helps uh, as we work toward consistency and as we assemble this volume for Oxford University Press. So um, just wanted to show you that very quickly. What I'd like you to do now is to actually open that template document. And this is the document named Psychology of Music and Multimedia .dot. Uh, not a document file, but a template file dot dot. So if you open that, you'll notice that at the top of the window, um, the name of the file is document and then a number, depending on how many documents uh, you've recently opened. Um, I would recommend that you save that immediately the first time you open it. And let's call it um, your last name type my last name and my chapter chapter title which I can't seem to type synchronization and save it I'll put this on my desktop uh, since I'm gonna do a better job when I actually do it for real and I would simply type here begin going through the document and replacing the text um, with content specific uh, or chapter specific content so audio visual synchronization Um, author name here, and I won't force you to watch me 
type this whole thing and then you would do the same thing for these various areas the word count you can come back and fill out uh, just before you submit the document um, but just like we learned, saw in the other document uh, each of these areas has a specific style applied so this is just a simple body text and if I click anywhere in a paragraph I can look over here to the current style of selected text area and it will tell me what that uh, formatting is I can change it by um, actually modifying the style but again that's not something that you're going to need to do in order to change this a format for example if I wanted to insert a um, an image here a figure um, I can hit return or enter on the Windows machine to place a, a line there and I want to enter a figure, so I simply go down to my um, insert placeholder format, click there, and say insert table one about here. And you see how the style automatically updated and put uh, the formatting that we want for that. Bulleted lists uh, have a formatting here, and it's called bulleted list. Um, other reference I hope that they're very intuitive uh, just like that this the headings are heading one two and three um, and if you want to add a heading for example you can simply be working on your text here uh, add a level two heading and inserted heading um, and so when I hit return that's set up to immediately go from the heading into a body format so I'm hoping this will be very easy for you to use um, but I would like for you to try to your best to incorporate uh, the use of these styles into your document you can also see that there's an acknowledgments um, formatting style and if you return to that other word document the using styles in word document you'll see a full list of all of the styles that are included in this particular style sheet here uh, with a brief description of what those are intended to be used for uh, along with ones that are really the one-time formatting options and that's like the uh, chapter title and the author name uh, that I simply replaced the text with um, one more thing I'd like to show you and I'm actually going to use both of these documents since I have them open if you want if you've begun work on your chapter um, and you want to simply copy and paste information from that um, document you previously had into this new template so that the formatting is correct um, you can simply take content um, I'll take these two paragraphs just as an example and copy that information I can use edit copy or I can use the shortcut keys that's command C on the Mac or control C on Windows and copy that information go to my other document and go to the place where I want to insert it let's say we want to put it right here and I will replace that now watch what happens I can go edit paste um, again I could use the shortcut key command V or control V in Windows um, when I paste you'll see a little um, icon pop up here um, when I when you click on the little down arrow of that icon um, there are several options for use with the template you will always want to choose match destination formatting that means no matter what the style or the formatting was in the previous document you want to use the ones in the template document if you choose keep source formatting that will cause the formatting from the previous document you were working on to be used instead of the formatting that we want to be used in our uh, template so if you click on mass match destination formatting it will then transform that and you'll notice that there was if you uh, review rewind just a little bit the video you'll see that this was not indented uh, as we had wanted it to be as soon as I selected match destination formatting it matched uh, the formatting of the text all of the aspects of the text um, in the previous document I had line spacing between uh, paragraphs which I don't want here so I'll get rid of that um, but you can copy and paste uh, from other documents into this new template it's very easy to do just make sure to use that little drop down menu to select uh, match destination formatting I hope this has made it easier uh, for you if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me or one of the other co-editors uh, we'd be glad to assist you in the process and thanks again for your contribution to this volume